Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is just kind of go over what this helmet is all about and why it looks the way it looks. All right, so first things first, I'm not trying to compete with Technoprop's ILM's $30,000 helmet. That is not what I'm trying to do. Uh, what I want to do when making this and selling this is that I want people to be able to do facial animation without having to break their bank, but at the same time not have to give up any features that they will need. So that being said, for the helmet itself, you are going to get everything except the iPhone holder right here, the phone holder, and the counterweights, which we'll talk about here in a second. When I was actually designing this mocap helmet right here, I started to ask questions. What makes facial motion capture hard? What are the problems? What were the problems that I ran into whenever I was doing facial motion capture, right? And the very first thing that I absolutely wanted to have for this motion capture system, this helmet right here, is being able to mount lights on it. Right now, 99% of the mocap helmets, unless you're talking about expensive $30,000 ones, you are not able to mount lights on it because majority of the people who are creating mocap helmets for phones are going for lightweight. But the problem with that is you can try to light your scene with soft boxes all over the place, but that can only go so far. At the end of the day, if you're doing some dialogue scenes and you have people looking at each other, you're going to want to have lights in front of them right here. So again, the first thing that I wanted to do was being able to mount lights like this, and I'll put the link in the description below, or this light right here that I got from Walmart. I need to be able to put them in front of my face like so. Now this is a sticky one. You can just kind of stick in here. Obviously you can do it a lot harder, but now I can have two lights right here and I can turn it on. And that is now going to cast light right in front of my face. I tried making a short film without any lights, just doing soft boxes. But the problem with that is my talent was not able to move. They had to stay still because I had two soft boxes uh, from the left and right, and that's pretty much it. So when the talent would move to the left or to the right, there's shadows. And I'm seeing a lot of that on YouTube, a lot of people trying live link or facial animation with their iPhones. Half of their faces are in the shadow, which is not good. And a lot of people ask me why, hey, how come my results don't look as good as yours or something like that? And they would show me the video and it's like, because half of your face is in the shadow. So again, the number one problem that I wanted to solve was being able to put lights on the actual mocap helmet itself. So with this right here, I have the rods that are really, really lightweight, okay? And I'm using the iPhone 12 mini that is also lightweight in front of it. But the first thing that you were going to want to buy whenever, if you decide to buy this helmet, is the counterweights. Okay? So this is a tactical helmet. All right? You can probably tell Velcro and all that stuff. You can have the cheaper version, the airsoft version. You can have the realistic one, whatever you want to do if you have one laying around. But the first thing you're going to want to buy whenever you purchase this helmet is counterweights and what's cool about this is since this is a tactical helmet you can just buy this counterweight pouch really cheap online and it's going to be velcroed on the back and screwed right here and again i'll put the links in the description below so now you have this counterweight and now you have the iphone 12 mini in front and to be honest for me that is all i really need However, if you are going to be using heavier cameras like a GoPro, because again, I'm going to show you how versatile this helmet is, you can always just zip tie a cheese plate like this that you can get online. You can zip tie it right here if you need more counterweights. And you can buy these gimbal counterweights right here, quarter 20, and just screw them on the back. And then that will give you a lot more counterweight. And when I say zip tie it, there's two holes, there are two holes right there in the back where you can just do that. Again, that's only if you need to add more counterweights because I'm sure some of y'all would have heavier phones than I have. So basically, again, we talked about the lights, we talked about the counterweights, and your setup could potentially be done just like that. So on the side right here, you're gonna see that we have this arc rail system. This is really robust, but at the same time, I still had two screws installed right here so that this thing is not going to move whatsoever. If you remove the screws, it still wouldn't move, but I added those two screws so that you can really 
really not move that at all because it's really important, right? So you have these rails, it's screwed in there. It's kind of, it's actually screwed in one of the uh, grooves right here, the notches. So it's not going left and right at all. Again, this is a tactical helmet. You know, PJs, they would put uh, flashlight torches right here. It wouldn't move at all. Um, so that's, that's how it's connected to the actual helmet itself. Really, really robust. And as you can see right here, even though it's lightweight in the front, it's, it's still pretty darn good. We have the counterweights, we have the light, and we have the Velcros up here. Again, if you're doing motion capture, body motion capture, as you all know, I use X-Sense, you know, they have these little sensors, right? Now, instead of putting the sensors on your headband, you have a Velcro right here, right? So this is going to be Velcroed on top right here. So now you don't have to wear the headband if you're using X-Sense. I know Perception Neuron also uses sensors, but if you're not doing anything crazy, you can potentially just put the Velcro up here or over here. It doesn't matter. Additionally, if you don't trust that, you can add another Velcro in there and then you know just make it a little bit harder or tape it on there. It doesn't matter. You have these top Velcros that you can add accessories to again, even counterweight if you want to. So that's pretty cool because I can just put it in there. If I'm just doing dialogue and whatnot, I really don't need the talent to wear a headband. Again, really useful stuff. If you want to, you can even put it inside the pouch. Uh, it's totally up to you. So speaking of the Velcros up here, and again, I'm just kind of going on tangent. If you have multiple talents, multiple actors, you can actually get a two by four Velcro patch. You can put a name, customized name right here that you can just patched over. They're called morale patches. If you want to Google that, just put in two by four morale patches. If you have multiple actors, you definitely don't want them mixing up their helmets. You can put JS Films right here or whatever, Rita, Tina, whatever, put it on there. So when they go back to the set or the session, they know whose helmet is who, which is again, really cool because you can just remove it and put it back on. All right, so I know we talked about versatility a little bit. We're talking about this helmet right here. This front right here actually flips. And let me show you, this is the piece, kind of like that. It goes to the front. You can actually flip the, let's see here, I have it on the other side like that. You can flip this piece, the front, to go like this, because I do have grooves right here on the end of this right here. And I can actually screw it this way. So now you have the camera like so. Now what is that gonna let you do? That's gonna let you do is mount a GoPro on here as a face cam if you want to. Or additionally, if you're trying to fool people and you want to do some first person shooters, you can flip this over and now you have your GoPro action cam just like that. So it doesn't have to just stay this way. You can flip the camera this way. And again, if you want to add lights that way, you have some holes right here. You can just kind of put a quarter 20 right here and screw it in. And now you have two lights this way. You can flip it. It's totally up to you. But then again, the camera will be a little bit higher. So if you're doing iPhone facial mocap, I suggest to have the actual rod like this. But it's so easy to just flip it. It's just one screw right here on the left and one on the right. Flip it to the side, connect it back, and then you're good to go. Now, the problem right now. So as you all know, nothing is going to be perfect. This helmet only comes with one size and I'm going to put the dimensions and the circumference on the screen right now. I have a small head. All right. So the problem is this moves a little bit on my head. Now, there's a couple of ways you can solve that issue. So again, this is a tactical helmet. That means you can buy cushion to install in here, so you can add a little bit more cushion. And additionally, if you want to, I tried it, you can just wear a helmet cap, like a little beanie on your head, and that's gonna you know, make it fit a little bit better. So with that being said, if you have a smaller head, you're definitely gonna wanna put something in here so that it doesn't move around. Um, I, I do have the straps adjustable, so you can adjust it, but at the same time, that can only go so far. So for me to get it stabilized, I did have to wear a beanie or a helmet cap or just add this extra cushion inside so that it's a little bit more snug, which again, shows a little bit of versatility, but at the same time, you know, if you have a big head, then obviously I'm not gonna be able to help you with that. For the entire Hamlet right now, minus the iPhone holder and the counterweights, this is $129 plus shipping. But if you already have a tactical helmet and it's within the same specifications and measurement as this one, you don't have to buy this helmet from me. You can just buy the kit. 
you don't need the helmet, you can buy the kit for $79.99 plus shipping. Meaning, if you already have a helmet, if you're a PJ, you already have a tactical helmet, or you do a lot of airsoft gun games, you already have a tactical helmet, as long as it's the same measurement as mine, because what you're gonna worry about is this right here, you don't want it too wide and you don't want it too small. As long as the distance from here to here is the same and it's around the same specifications of this helmet right here that I'm selling, then you should be fine with just buying the actual kit for $80 so you don't have to pay $129 for the entire thing. But yeah, other than that, the only thing that's going to be changing as of right now is I'm replacing all of the screws with black screws right here because that looks kind of tacky. I want everything to look like this. So it looks kind of nice see black right here. I'm going to be replacing these ones with some black ones. And other than that, that's pretty much it. This is what you're going to be getting again for 129 bucks minus the iPhone holder. And I guess I can show you how this is mounted in. I do have a quarter 20 right here. So I have a quarter 20 screw with a nut that's stopping that. And I just kind of spin this around. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you really don't need a counterweight, this is the only thing you need to get started, right? So you can spin it however you want to. Additionally, you can hold it like this and screw it in a little bit tighter if it's loose. But at the same time, you just hold it and then tighten it and you should be good to go. But realistically, if you're using a smaller phone, you really should only have to buy the $129 one and an iPhone holder. You take it out of the box and you're ready to go. And that's really what I wanted to do. Again, I am not trying to compete with $30,000 Technoprof for $1,200 whatever mocap facial animation device. I created this so that everybody has access to it and everybody can play around with the Unreal Engine 5 Meta Human Animator, which again, I think is going to change everything when that comes out. Uh, that being said, I'm going to be doing a lot more demos to this. I do have a music video. I have, I have a lot of stuff planned. If you want to wait for those tests to purchase this, that is totally fine. Kind of test it out a little bit so you see how it works. With that being said, if you are interested in purchasing the helmet or just the kit, I am taking pre-orders right now. So go ahead and email me at jsfilmsmocap at gmail.com and let me know if you're interested on the entire thing or just the kit and you can install it yourself. Well, that being said, if y'all have any other questions, like always, just let me know. And if you do decide to pre-order it, I totally appreciate it. Thanks for your support, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.